in patients undergoing liver transection with a resection of the hepatic ducts. Ruan Y hepaticojujinostomy is one of the most common approaches for biliary reconstruction. This video will demonstrate the anastomotic technique of jejunum rulim to multiple hepatic ducts. To allow precise placement of all sutures without hindrance from the intestine, instead of completing one anastomosis followed by the other, the entire row of duct posterior walls will be completed first, followed by the anterior row. First, stay sutures and interrupted sutures will be placed to the anterior wall of all three ducts. These sutures will hold the anterior walls open to facilitate the posterior row suture placements. Next, the first enterotomy will be made on the jejunum, followed by placing the stay sutures. A W maneuver will be performed on the 9 o'clock stay suture to maintain the distance between the jejunum and the hepatic duct during placements of the posterior wall sutures. The sutures will be placed inside out on the jejunum and outside in on the hepatic duct, which will later be tied on the inside. Other enterotomies will be created and interrupted sutures will be placed on the posterior wall of all three ducts. All posterior wall sutures will be placed before tying the stitches to maintain a clear view for suture placements. Distance between each enterotomy will be according to the distance between the ducts to ensure the reconstruction is free of tension. Particular attention will be paid to string management to organize the sutures and keep them from being entangled. The jejunum will be parachuted down to the duct orifices and the posterior wall sutures are tied on the inside. The anterior row of sutures will then be placed on the jejunum and completing the anastomosis with knots tied on the outside. The hepaticojejunostomy of three hepatic ducts is complete.